Hi everyone, my name is Paul Shiner and I'm an IoT Specialist Solutions Architect within AWS. In this video I'm going to show you how to extract images from a KVS feed and then process them to take actions based on what's in that image using recognition. This video assumes that you already have a KVS stream ingesting into AWS and it's using the sample which I'll go into. If you don't have that, then please go back and watch the previous video that shows how to set that up. That's available on the AWS IoT channel, which is here. So let's just check that the video feed is still coming in to KVS. So if I go to my video streams here, I can see that camera feed is still coming in. So we're good to start with the image extraction process. In May of this year, we released uh, a new feature, which is managed support for image extraction from KVS video streams. And that's what we'll be using today. So for a quick overview of what we're going to build, we have a real-time streaming protocol camera coming into the Raspberry Pi, and then that's being pushed to Kinesis video streams using the sample component that we built. Then we'll use this new feature to extract images to an S3 bucket. When those images are extracted to that S3 bucket, we can trigger a Lambda that will push those images into recognition. Recognition will label the images and reply back. And then we can put those into another S3 bucket where we can draw the bounding boxes as well and add the metadata for the labels. Then we can trigger another Lambda that will check for labels that we want to be notified for. So in this example, we might want to look out for cats or dogs or foxes, and we can put that in this process and then send a simple notification out. So firstly, I'm going to create the two S3 buckets that we're going to place the images in, and then we'll enable the image capture feature in Kinesis video streams. So let's switch to the console. So let's create two new buckets in here. And obviously we need a unique name for these. I'm going to call these portals. great so that name's not taken and then let's create another bucket for the processed images Oops. that's great so we've got the two buckets now we need to go into kvs and enable this feature now there's no way to enable this feature from um, the console we need to use the cli for that so we can use cloud shell to do that quickly I click on Cloud Shell at the top here, or you can search for Cloud Shell. If we look at the developer guide, we can see what's required to update the image generation configuration. So we need to create this JSON file and then invoke that using the CLI. So here we can see we've got the stream name the um, destination region, the bucket name, and the sampling interval, which at the moment is set to three seconds. So every three seconds, it will take a still image from the KVS stream and then push that to the S3 bucket. Then we can change the format and the quality and the height and the width. So obviously you need to check the height and the width of the image that you have already. And you can check that within the KVS monitor or from your producer that was coming in. So I'll just duplicate this. So if I go. So you can see my current video resolution is 640 by 480. So we'll have to set that in this JSON file to the correct quality. So I'm going to copy this locally and then edit with my configuration. So here I've created that file locally on my machine and just copied in what we have. So we can put in the height and the width of the pixels. And we're happy with the producer timestamp and happy with um, every three seconds. Um, the region we want to be EU. And the stream name will be the stream of your KVS stream, which you can get from going into the console and looking. So my one is camera 102, so I'll copy that. 
place that in there. And the next part we need is the URI of the S3 bucket that we're going to put the images into, which we can switch to S3 and get that from the previous ones. So within this bucket, what we'll do is we'll create another folder um, for each camera. So we'll call this one, it's got 102. We'll use this just for putting the images from that camera. And we can click on there and copy the S3 URI. Hopefully that should be the same format. So I'll save that and switch back to Cloud Shell where we can run that command. So to upload that file very quickly, we can go here and upload. And select that file. That's uploaded. Next, we can run the command, which we can just copy from the getting started guide because this I've used the same naming convention yep it's like, and enter so we can check that has worked by using and we need to supply the stream name the stream on to this For us, it's camera and we can see there that should match up with the file that we injected into it. We won't see any images in the S3 bucket yet and the reason for that is KVS will use the credentials from the stream that's coming in in order to write to that bucket. So it uses those forward access credentials from um, IoT Core that we provisioned earlier. So what we need to do is go into IoT Core and give those credentials access to this S3 bucket as well. So we'll do that next. First of all, we're going to find our thing, our camera. And here at 102, we're going to the certificate. I can see in this camera policy, I'm using the camera IoT role alias. So if I go to that role alias, so if I click on that and go to the IAM role, in this IAM role, we can see the policy that's already in there that allows us to put to the Kinesis video stream that we set up earlier. So let's edit this policy and add permissions to the S3 bucket so that KVS can forward on those frames and store them in S3. So I'll just switch to the JSON editor. I'm going to add to this statement. You can see I've added an allow S3 star and restricted it just to this resources folder. So this means that all of the other IoT cameras that I might have can still use this same policy providing all of the images end up in my Paul CCTV images folder. And then the subfolders of that will be their own camera name, which is for this one, camera 102, but we'd have camera 101, etc. Let's review that policy, save those changes. Now, once that's set, we should be able to switch back to S3. And in that bucket that we created earlier, we should have camera 102. And now we can see that those images are starting to come into the S3 bucket. So let's just have a look at one of those images to check that it's exactly as we're expecting. Yeah, you can see the timestamp there as well. So that's great. We've got the images coming into S3 now. So the next step is to trigger from S3 the Lambda to push to recognition. In the next video, we'll go into everything on the right hand side here where the Lambda will pick up the image from the S3 bucket, pass that to recognition, 
get the response and place that image in another S3 bucket that we created earlier. And then we can decide what we're going to do with those images once they're labeled and in that bucket. So we can send them to SNS or back to IoT Core um, to communicate with other devices to alert that something has been detected in the image. So I'll see you then.